In the world of fighting game tournaments, there are sometimes very special competitions known as mystery game tournaments, mostly held at huge events like Combo Breaker. Each year, competitors will sign up to play in a completely unpredictable bracket, one where the actual game they're playing changes every round. These games can be anything from extremely obscure fighting games to puzzle games to whatever the hell is happening here. This could have been a game just about the egg, but they just had to put these little animals in peril yeah. at the same time. Now, I've always loved the spirit of these events, throwing all sorts of different games and challenges at players just to see who can adapt and overcome the fastest. And truthfully, I've always wanted to host one myself. That's why when I went to one of the biggest Smash Bros events in the world, Super Smash Con 2023, I was determined to host a similar challenge, a mystery platform fighter tournament. 32 players, single elimination, with the game being played changing every single round, and for no prize other than the mere satisfaction of being crowned the ultimate platform gamer, and maybe I would give them a handshake. That's what I thought at first anyway, until I brought the idea up to SmashCon, and they loved it so much that they provided setups to help raise the number up from 32 all the way to 128 four times as many entries. And not only did the player count boost up, the prizing did too. To start, two members of my Twitch chat donated a total of $350. Thanks, Habifu and Compton. Then, SmashCon committed to double it up to $700. And finally, my agency agreed to kick in an extra $300 to bring the ultimate prizing up to an even $1,000. This completely random, ridiculous side event had somehow gained higher stakes than most real tournaments. So with SmashCon's blessing and $1,000 in my pocket, I set out to put together the first ever Mystery Platform Fighter Tournament. And this is how it turned out. Hey, by the way, could you take a second to like this video, please? I swear I never usually ask this. I've heard it helps boost the video. I've never tried it myself, so I'm just kind of trying on this one. So help me out with this little experiment. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. So the first game of the tournament was an easy choice. When we made the decision to up the tournament from 32 entrants to 64 entrants and then ultimately to 128 entrants, I knew there would have to be a color. I had only been given about three hours for this event, roughly, and a 128-man bracket could potentially take ages. So the first game had to not only be a more traditional platform fighter to set the tone, but it also had to be so accessible and so blindingly fast that we could cut out half of the entrance immediately. And almost instantly, I knew there was only one choice. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. I love this game. And with NASB 2 only a short ways away, I thought this might be one of the last opportunities to see NASB in its full, unmitigated, absurd glory. Instead, I got Reptar. Lots and lots and lots of Reptar. Don't chant for Reptar. No, no. <laughs> Stop. No Reptar. The, ch the crowd is chanting Reptar. A lot of people either hadn't played NASB in a long time, or maybe ever, and so it went about how you might expect. There were a few people who kind of looked like they knew what they were doing, though. Now you're stuck. What's weird to Ooh. me is, oh, wait a minute, Ooh, off the no, off the no, the no, going crazy. <laughs> this game is like very spike heavy. No spikes at all in the bracket. Sure, it probably happened off camera. Okay, all right, there you go. That's my guy right there. Eventually, a full hour had passed and the hardest part of the tournament was behind us. Half of the field had been cut and we were off to game two. And with this one, I wanted to pick something a little different. When I first announced this tournament, most people were predicting the obvious picks. Well-known and respected plat fighters like Rivals of Aether, Slap City, Brawlhalla, you know the stuff. But I don't like obvious, and I wanted to go in another direction. To truly embrace the open-ended freedom promised by the genre name, Platform Fighter. Something to really emphasize the mystery aspect and keep the competitors on their toes. The second game was Nidhogg. Nidhogg is, in this humble YouTuber's opinion, one of the finest games ever made. It's a fencing game where two players jockey for position by killing one another, then try to run as far as possible past them. It's fast, frenetic, and extremely accessible. It's a simple game that tests players' fundamentals, adaptability, and ingenuity. And to be honest, I just really wanted to watch some Nidhogg. Ah! Oh, punches him! Nice! <laughs> Yellow still got it! Dude, he, oh, had the double double he got a double kill! The only thing about Nidhogg is that there's no timer. With two experienced players, matches can easily go 15 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour. I had figured that nobody here was an expert Nidhogg player, and it, it should be over pretty quick, and thankfully I was right. 
But there was one instance where a match went pretty long, and it just so happened to feature perennial smash heartthrob, Hungrybox. See, Hbox swept the Nazbi round pretty easily, but he had zero experience with Nidhogg. He lost game one pretty handily, but picked up on the game fairly quickly, and Clutchbox was intent on winning round two. The strats right. are actually We're developing in oh real life. Whoa, he's going a little crazy. Unfortunately, his opponent caught on just as fast. And so the match between the two kept going. The stab, we're back under the chandelier. Going. Don't do anything crazy, just let it rock. Oh, oh a double what? kill. And going. It's one screen away from moving. Oh, no. Oh. 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 He got the scramble, cuts his throat. He's there got his spawn. Go. He's got his spawn. No. Oh. Oh. The, the immediate. Spawn. The immediate. Oh, oh. The and eventually realizing that he might miss the entire rest of the tournament if he kept playing in my bracket, Hbox had to gracefully bow out so he could compete in Melee. He ended up getting second place, so it, probably a wise decision, I guess. And so with that, Nidhogg was behind us. But the memories that we made would live on with us forever. Okay, time for round three. Next up is something a bit experimental. So in looking for games for the competition, I stumbled upon a couple from the past that seemed somewhat interesting, but I never really got the chance to dive into. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. In honor of the new movie, the next game was going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up, an experimental platform fighter from the Wii era. Instead of the normal percent-based life system that a lot of these games have, this one has life bars, with more of a focus on grounded combat and strong items. I thought it might be a fun little novelty. It did not deliver. So it turns out the issue here was a miscommunication from the people running the tournament. While I was stuck on stage the whole time giving commentary, we had a team of staff actively running the tournament, and thank God for them. When people asked what stage they would play on, the event runners told them just to go to the standard stage, which is this boring-ass temple dojo thing. This is, of course, completely my fault, since I didn't write a single line of rules for this event and just kind of made it up as I went along. But since nobody had ever actually played this game, nobody knew what they were doing. And without any variation in stages, pretty much every single fight ended like this. Uh, at this point, you just run away. Three, <laughs> two, one. Yeah, Lena, this is a timeout game. One. Uh, yeah, that, that's a timeout game. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wait, if he kills him, get up, he might go to get sudden up, death. No, he can't do it. No. Oh. I was going to say, that might go sudden death. I don't know. It was so close. But there was one round that was kind of fun that was on a ship that hit an iceberg. Oh. Oh. And then the iceberg turned into a fight on a whale, and then they rode the whale's water spout back onto another ship that also hit an iceberg. I'm pretty sure there's way more funny stuff in this game than what we got to see, so maybe I'll put it on for next year. I'm a little disappointed, but hey, they can't all be home runs, right? That was the game I knew the least about. I didn't know how that would go. Uh, I liked it once we were on different stages. So with three rounds down, we're now down to just 16 combatants. Everyone from this point on is winning some amount of money and I thought I'd give them a fair chance to win even more with something a bit more competitive. Shrek Super Slam is a game with an apparently thriving competitive scene and a new tier list from like a month ago. It's basically just Power Stone with a DreamWorks coat of paint, but it's pretty cool. Shockingly, I really don't have much to say about this game, uh, except this happened. The eyes. Oh, wait. Oh, that oh, 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 oh. That's cannibalism. Mongo, no. What? After Shrek, I wanted a palate cleanser, something simple and pure before the impending chaos of the final two games. So when we got to our top eight round, they played Gang Beasts. You know Gang Beasts, right? You fight to push the other guy off a platform, throw him, pick him up, all that stuff. The bombardment of Glizzy's nice. is upon us. Throw him in the pit. Throw him into the pit. Oh my God. Oh, 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 he's gone. That's round one. I, I, I got him by the nose. Oh, 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 I don't know. He got all on that up, boat and up. chased him down. Hey! <laughs> Wait, he's okay. I think he's. I think no, he's gone. No, he could do it. This he is a, could do. <laughs> he's dead. Uh, <laughs> all right. I think if you fall off here, I don't know if you die or if you get hit by a car. No, you you, you die if you fall off here. Oh, that's small bit. Oh, oh that's that it. easy that's it. W. Right okay. Your entire premise here is to throw the other homeless man into the subway. <laughs> oh, oh, watch oh. it. Oh and that's no! It. Get out! Get out! Jump! Climb out! You have climb to climb! Out. You have to climb! You got it! He's out! He's right, out! Right, He's going out to climb. So you throw them into something. Oh! Oh! Yes. They're both down there. Oh no! Oh! oh wait! Wait! What? Red wins! No! What? <laughs> they okay! Red wins! That's that's it, right? That should then, be a double that, KO. 
<laughs> yeah, Gang Beast is great. With just two games left now, it was time to go back to basics. We had a couple very loose interpretations of the genre, but now we had to return to a true, honest-to-God platform fighter in the newly early access game, Framemakers. Framemakers is a truly sick platform fighter featuring characters across a ton of different indie games. And not only are there playable characters, there are also loads of assists too, who are fighters that you can call in for different follow-ups to extend combos, get kills, whatever you want to do. It's a really cool game. But the coolest thing about the game is the workshop. Similar to Rivals of Aether, Framemakers has a workshop where people can upload custom characters. And there's absolutely no limit to what's possible in the game's engine. Anything you can dream up, you can put in this thing. So I got the chance to talk with the Framemakers developers, who happen to be at SmashCon 2, and they offered to make me a custom build, one with all the normal content disabled, and with tons of free, community-created, custom workshop nonsense content. Like this digitized 1990s Undertaker, with his sworn companion, Pizza Chuckster Walter White. Walter White throws a pizza! <laughs> The pizza's still in there! <laughs> Get the pizza! Skyler! <laughs> We're in Frame Makers! I told the Frame Makers to really make a showcase out of this. Go as crazy as they wanted with anything that they wanted to add. And these matches? They speak for themselves. Yep. Set to go foolish. Send oh! it! Go, Kuan! He stays out? Okay, never mind. There's no way. No, right? he's gonna he's dropping Wait. roller roller. Uh, oh, what oh, is that? Oh dude, my no. god. That's crazy. Can't get hit. Oh, you no. Set Blahaj! Ah! What the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, no oh. alright, level two. Oh. Level two, alright. Oh dude, Jut knows. He's played yeah. this before. Oh my yeah. god. What are these strings? Dude, what are these yeah. hitboxes? Hey. Dude, he's hey. playing. Hey! That was Falcon Knee? Oh, oh, he's ready. Oh, we yeah. got the support. He Show showed up. up to support your boy. <laughs> Love that. And there we go. Rapid oh, that rapid jump. Ah! Ah! He's having so many some... points. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, 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 ah! wait. Wait. He's tiny. Oh, he jumps on him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of these characters are awful, too. Like this Mario, he dies in two hits. Somehow he became a crowd favorite, though. I guess. All right. <laughs> crowd is chanting for Mario. They love Super Mario. This is like for a fireball. Whole, he threw fireball. Whoa. Wait, yes, fireball. What? There were more moves. I never knew we had fireballs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, can you drop ah! the? Ah! <laughs> So now, after our final four had played their matches, we were down to our grand final. On one side was Jut, a friend of mine who had a natural talent for these sorts of games. And on the other was Lonesome, who had told me that he came to this tournament specifically just to play Smash 4, which was the weirdest thing I heard all weekend. Their final showdown would take place at a game I was sure neither had ever even heard of, but one that holds a special place in my heart. And it may very well be the first platform fighter ever made. The Out Foxies is a 1v1 arcade game released in 1994. It's old as hell, uses only two buttons, controls like you're piloting a tank with only one tread, but it is funny. There are a handful of great videos on YouTube that detail this game better than I have the time to right now, but for our purposes, just think of this like the Ancestor to Duck game, with fast gameplay, ridiculously interactive stages, and a monkey in a top hat. Fighters scramble to collect weapons around the map and use them to kill the other guy. The final showdown between Jut and Lonesome will be in a virtually unknown game, one they could have never possibly prepared for or anticipated, one that released long before either competitor was even born. The first fighter to win three games will be crowned the ultimate champion. The only thing standing between them and true glory was each other. What is that? Is that grenade over oh. there? Yeah, grenade. There's fire. Fire. Fi I don't. Oh, it's a flamethrower. I think. Yep. Okay. Oh there my God. <laughs> He's up there both on fire now. Yo, the way okay, there ah! Oh, oh! Jesus! Oh my sword! Get the sword! The sword is busted. Dude, he took oh, so he much damage. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's Professor Chick is dead. Dweeb wins. A much bigger stage. The monkey has a gun. Yep. We're gonna shoot him. Shooting Bernard. Who gave Bernard the monkey going a up gun? the stairs very carefully. Oh, got the rocket launcher. You oh, can't hit him. Oh. Blows them both up. Okay. Oh, he's getting electrocuted. Second. He can't, oh, shoot, he can't him. shoot him. <laughs> got him right in the top hat. He headbutted him down. <laughs> Great anti-air option. That's a lot of grenades. I don't know if you want to stay right on top oh. of those. Oh. oh my God, that's huge damage. You know, I think you're, I think you're onto something when you said that this is like spiritually the very first true platform fighter. Because yeah. this is definitely. Oh wait, that the way. water. The water's coming. Oh. Hey! 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 Hey!
the electrocution! <laughs> oh, the helicopter! Oh. Stage is gonna keep changing. I just can't believe we have like a Rube Goldberg. Oh, oh we're <laughs> in the, oh okay, we're in the Hot soup! Yo, get the hot the soup. soup! Throw the soup! Throw it in his face! Ah. Oh, oh no, it burns! Yo, get the pie! Throw the pie! Oh, he has a gun. Wait, Dweeb has one HP, kicks the monkey, he's still alive! Oh, Dweeb is down! <laughs> that Jut wins game two. There's Wait, a machine gun the on the whale. whale. Is the whale suspended? Yeah, oh, the yeah. whale suspended. The whale's <laughs> is being held up. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Shot the rocket up. It does so much damage. It does a lot. Ah, he's on fire, stop, drop, roll. Oh, it's oh my god. Down. Okay, we're going. Oh, imagine the, you can get Do not go the in there with the shark. Yeah, do not go in the no, shark for, tank. For, for experimentation, can you please go check that out? I feel like the big guy's got to be a low tier. Once like, again, he's big, Nick, he hits hard. Yeah, he's very strong in his normal hits, but it's a weapon game. Oh, he's kicked. Judd is being so cheap. Yeah, Judd's yeah. playing to win. Dude, he's getting kicks now. You got to get oh. out of there, man. This oh, is not your fault. Take the elevator. He tried to go in. Can you? Wait. I assume. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, the whale fell. The whale is down. Oh. The water rises. Oh, oh. oh. Things are about to get oh, crazy. That's huge. You need to get out. You remember those sharks, right? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh he took the elevator. He took the elevator. Oh, the elevator. No. I, does he drown? Yo, I don't. Jut is struggling. Wait, does he drown? Oh, no. Yo, I see. Yo, the sharks are on the left. Yeah, sharks are coming out. Oh, oh no. The oh, dragon no, no, no. punch. Look out no. for the sharks. No. He's on oh, a oh, attack. No. Oh, no. That was so much damage. You're taking that. The flamethrower. He's on fire. Get yeah. the water. No, the water's not safe. No. The shark. No. He's being eaten alive. Oh, he's out oh. of a fire. That's Wait. huge. Okay. Oh, he's on fire, oh. too. It's over for Bernard. Well, yeah. keep in mind, on the other side of the, the oh, table. Oh. oh, no, that's huge. That's right. They bring him back. They bring him back. Thank you. Oh, uh, you got to oh, go, no. go get him. Go get him. Miss. Stop. What did you do? That guy is working overtime. Yeah, he's got a huge lead now because he accidentally fell off three times. This match so. is like for $100. This is real. I mean, he's doing some decent damage with it. It's, it's starting to build up. Oh, he has it pinned against the wall. Wait. Oh, we, th no weapons here. Crazy Ooh, wall wait. pressure. Just That's wall pressure. Oh, there we right, go. Oh, no, oh. the tunnel. Oh. He, you got to crouch here. No, oh. you have to crouch. Yo, wait. the comeback. I forgot the tunnel can knock you down. Oh, oh. wait a minute. Yo. Wait, it might be over. Judd has to be very careful. Oh, try to camp him. You see that? All right, he's going to be able to get But now he's got no, access to a gun. He's going to get to the rocket launcher, but you both hit. You both hurt each other. Camp, look that. at the time. There's a t oh, does Yo, the smoke he, hurt you? I think he's no, I think he's actually hitting him through the ground. Oh, no. Wait, oh, we might go to game five. Hit. Wait, one more hit. One more We're hit. Going to game five. Five. He's dead. John Smith is down. Game five. What? We're on the airship. Oh my god. You can get in the Gatling gun. <laughs> Wait. There's a lot. I don't know how, but oh, a box fell on his head. Very silly. <laughs> oh he can't see. Very silly indeed. Tinkies, yeah. where are my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my god. Dude, the machine guns are not fair. This is brutal. Get away from those grenades. That does so much damage. Oh my god. Dude, it took a whole health bar on each one of it's them. It's huge. Oh, yeah, there's a get sword, the sword down there. How do you get down, though? I don't know. Oh, uh, big explosion. Oh, oh no! there you go. Please! There you go. That's how you get down. That's right. <laughs> He's holding on. He's holding Did on. Did you to the see how much health he lost? He's back. Though. He's he back. lost like a whole bar off of that. Wait, what is that? Mean? I get the feeling you probably do not want to be on the roof of this. Uh, yeah. This, <laughs> during during this whatsoever. I don't know what the storm does. <laughs> We're about to deal with a lot of turbulence. I'm sorry, uh, flight attendants. Uh, we have a incoming oh, rocket launcher. Oh, oh, it's game. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, no, it's okay. Wait, oh! he's dweeb, dweeb. And the trade off. He's dead. He's for dead. The first win. <laughs> That's going to do it. Everybody, give it up for your mystery platform fighter champion. In the end, Jut walked away as our mystery platform fighter champion, having endured every challenge thrown his way. Despite having seven different games spanning different genres, controllers, and even entire generations, the tournament went off without a hitch, which honestly felt like no small miracle. Now I just gotta find more mystery platform fighter games for next year. Hey, maybe comment some of your favorites below and I'll check them out. Anyway, that was the mystery platform fighter tournament. I hope you liked it. Goodbye!